the map that they lost that 15-7 lead against Heroic. Maybe that's still ringing in the back of their ears after the shush clutch. But over towards B we go in an early biff with the 1x bet odds still favoring the Danes. We're in. Yeah, they landed a nice goosh early, but that does not stop Farley. Zipex is on notice as well, so this can tumble and is because Forrester has made it very clear he is still fragging up a storm. Bodyguarded, stuck between two mines, and now, well, this one concludes. It's just Glaive. You do have Rushley, one, two, three, four, five, and six, hanging out on the Observer cam. Glaive with nothing more than his USP. Yeah, literally nothing more. Poor guy, $100 to his name. Would love a kill. Spammy on the Ooh, Spinellian will finish him off and pick up that of his own, and they will walk away with four USPs. So they're not oh. going to come in. Pieces there. It was just a question of losing so many to Forrester in quick succession. The Molly well placed on barrels, and wow, good nade actually from Glaive. That's going to very really deep. be swallowed by Lackey, so they get two off without any rebuttal. So good damage done, and now one of the issues is you know that the CTs were aggressive. And we talk about this a lot on overpass. It's true in gun rounds as much as it is on a force buy, is just how many prickly little corners they could be hiding in. The connector, worried about them up close in bathrooms, pushed up behind the tree or the rock at long. There's a lot to clear on a map like overpass. It doesn't just work like a traditional map because of some of the swings and roundabouts that you have to be worried with. Now up long they trundle, three of which Crad dealing with the banana slash mid position. Forrester gonna rejoin the troops as, oh, Crad. I think he has his uh, jump throw key. Maybe close to his space bar there. But he will get that one down. A lurk smoke front of sight for Blame to play around with the UMP in hand. And now out of utility are the Danes. But Astralis with some info and finally swing out. Oh, we get the kill. Lackey, the lower dead. Gonna have to try and find some more. And the bot shots don't connect. Elian has the bomb and it's been spotted though. Or rather, excuse me, Nickelback is maneuvering that back. Config's really aggressed towards the toilet divider. And so he'll be at least, at least be able to report any descents. There's 35 seconds. If they go towards A, there's going to be well, at least three players here. Zip is playing passive Glaive as well. Oh, Step would have been heard. Yeah, definitely. You can strike here and oh, drive by gets really awkward for Entropic. They need Forrester. They need Nickelback to start charging into this site. Elian on long side is delivering, but it's getting sketchy. Very, very sketchy. Nickelback bringing the bomb. Oh, no. That was all, all hanging in the balance of that duel with Glaive. And so low. This is so winnable. And oh! Zipex takes it as easy as pie. 3.14 and defusal is secure. It was around it with the util. And Tropic make work with this. Can almost operate as a bit of a uh, bungled gun round, right? Because you still have uh, enough weaponry to make this one work. Do you get the playground control early? Some nades go either way. No damage done. Well, he's going to stick around for a moment, but thinking better of it. It's short, and it's Forrester, very, very close to the action. Hasn't been spotted out, has gained some information thanks to the boost and jump from Glaive. We might see a point of contact on Long here, Alex, because Elian's posted up with the scout. So if, if Blame goes for a look, he, he might cop a tag here. Well-drilled individual is Blame. Got the M4 and a flash is perfect for Ooh. the frag. Gets it. That's actually huge. Can he get away? Never mind. He'll fight his way out. Two and a half. Nickelback brought down to 50. And the bomb nowhere near them. So not only losing the numbers game, but the map territory about to be given up in retrieval. Well, Farley's reposted up towards Long right now, and I'm sure Glaive would love to get over and get that M4 that's loose on the ground, but he's still tucked on towards B. Zip and Glaive to defend and there's some information spotted forrester noted now 35 seconds remaining as they look to set up a boost here slave could be susceptible Ooh, slippery oh and back towards a so 20 seconds roughly as they're going to trundle towards this site there's an open runway right now yeah it is wide open finally won't hear it config will only on his way you might even get a plan out of this you know you take it you certainly would take it Bomb to be planted, Farley to deny. Oh, that's an important duel. That's it, the round just like that. Farley sprays them down. Three in quick succession, but the plant found. They should hold off on the defuse so that Glaive can go get this gun, and that's exactly what they're going to do here. Glaive just hightailing it towards Long, has scooped up that M4, so that's the best that they could walk out of the round with. So crossing the T's, dotting the I's are Australis, and they will win out the force by wars. That's two consecutive rounds, but 
it is a good plant for Entropic, so at least they can stay slightly threatening. Now, this is really good from Blame, because I thought that he might cop a tag. The flash was good. You saw Ellie in there have to hide behind the tree. And on the swing back out, Blame's aim is too good. Bomb just going down right there, so the con going to be buying in with just a couple of digs here. Now, just to note, Nickelback hasn't invested anything, and that is likely because he will be dropping the AWP for Ellie in the future gun round. Uh, this is just the uh, slow, drawn-out default spread with pistols to milk through the CTU. So you can see, if you look at your minimap in the top left of the screen, there's no real committal anywhere early. Blame and Farley are quite far forward, so you need to be careful they don't give over an M4 here. Just like that. Farley revealed as well, and he can mop up as he has two nice, quick, clean kills. Gonna make it difficult for those weapons to be retrieved, sticking around. Now, one thing we might want to talk about here is this roster of Australis has been on debut at Pro League Season 15. And uh, they were able to pick up a 16 to 8 victory on overpass uh, against EG. But uh, against Heroic, I did detail this earlier, mm. they uh, lost out from a 15 7 lead, I believe it was, to then lose in overtime at uh, 19 16. And that was after a shush. I believe it was a one on four. But it was a one on three that looked juicy once he got to the site. He had that hard clear. He takes down Glaive, the one on one with Blame. And then, well, Heroic, you know what that type of a series means to them in the Danish Derby. Zipper where they can have slipped across. Good for the confirmation. Oh, of the information, four hearts still beaten. They are building up quite the bank. And they've certainly set the pace. Now, it doesn't mean a lot, but that was the first opening kill for Entropic was Lackey's D. Kills on a map like Overpass, especially for the T side, are huge because this is a difficult map to operate on. But that orb is in the hands of Elian, and away we go. Finally, has got his out as well. Deep incendiary. They will go with the extinguish. The nade to follow through and the... Wow, patience of Lackey almost paid off. Walking into the AWP. No monster smoke, right? Oh. I was gonna I thought they doubled it there, but it was a flash and a smoke, so that's okay. And that's one of the things, right? In the meta, it's so common for the monster smoke to come in from spawn and just consistently be re-smoked for the entire round. But config, you've got company. You can win the round. Right here, right now. Lackey's is first and dicing with nickel back. It's damage. But they do claw one back. This worked before for them, right? And, and Farley is in a position where he could go for the wombo combo flash setup, almost similar scenes. Blame might be hearing some of these steps. Oh, yeah, here's the run boost and the scope. So Farley going to flash him in again. We could have a rinse repeat here. They could both be doing the flashbang dance. And they are complete freebies for Blame F, set up for success. And Astralis, this is a dream start for their defense. Again, four players staying alive, keeping that weaponry. Crad's main objective now is just to force a couple of them to open their wallets. Yeah, where are you going to go, mate? Can't go forward, can't go backwards. Going to go to the grave. Crad goes down. No issues with their aggressive maneuvers over towards A, but aggressive maneuvers against pistols, that could be the recipe for success for Entropic. One foot fault. They can get back into this as they do burn on down through the initial mollies. Lots of pressure long here. And this is not what you'd expect without an extinguish, right? Because they've actually braved the flames, they're going to have a timing that might catch... Astralis off guard. Look how quick this is. They're not even stopping for anything. Normally, you, you you have a conversation between the two of you toilets. Who's got long? You start thinking about it. Farley might have to acknowledge it now. He's going to be out of position, Alex. This round could yeah. fall apart. He's not even looking. He's going to eventually consider it. This is a huge gap. Oh, my God. He's dead. Absolutely cooked. And now the space can be taken. Blame going to come in with no information. Toilets is lost and occupied. Crad has that on lock. He says with a P250 alone. Hard retake, though. This is the punish. Can Ellie imply this recovered orb as well as he's supposed to? He's posted up Config should be dead and now a weapon should be retrieved. Ellie using Farley's weapon against the squad. Config now gone. Orb still bank side. They scream. They decree. Bullets down. Zipex is a god. How does he get away with that? Smoke for the bomb here. They can do this. Yeah, how are you supposed to deny? It's planet safe side. And on the defuse now, it's Astralis with a recovery. Farley's death. It's punished in a way, a frag and a plant, but still nothing to celebrate for. And so it's a good eco, right? If we look at it from that perspective, it's a good eco, but it's an opportunity. They could have converted here. Oh, he's whiffed the smoke. Tried to extinguish. Saves him from the nade, I suppose. If you're looking for a silver lining, Forrester coming on out. Bangs his head off the tube in order to evade that spray. And it's Glaive he has to trifle with next. 
good pressure from Forrester. Here. They're just charging, actually. Straight into Zipex, a fully blind spray, and return the favor into the site comes Lackey. Bomb on his back. The flashes are there, but body guarded nicely. And yeah, this is going to keep going. Forrester now caught out. Crad trades back. This is insane. 1 minute 15 and a 2v2 with a fast flank on its route. Finally posted heaven, he is waiting, making sure he doesn't take an engagement before Blame can activate. Blame will, just by presence alone, deny any monster maneuvers. Both playing water side here. This is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's just a question of if Farley... Oh, they're pushing. They have a great idea about this flank here. Yeah, they're working it out. Too quiet for too long. Farley trying to draw distraction, trying to run interference. Finally concerned about his flank. They're running out of time now. Elliot loses his jaw. Big pick. Blame to try and get that kit and get that defuse. Crad needs to deny this. Crosshair in the right place. Needs to deny it now and has. I think that's the round. No time. No time at all. That is really rough right there. You think Astralis, they've got that one. They're trading in towards the B site. It was a beautiful scene. Just constantly chopping and changing within the kill feed. And there you go, Entropic do get one back. They're able to pip the gap. And you can see this from Zip. He does really good to get one while completely flash. Lackey comes in. They gets desperate. They're pushing through the smokes. They want the space. I guess if Lackey runs in, you got to follow him. And they do. Glaive grabs one back. Crowd on that trade. And this is a great shot from Farley here. But you can see where they planted. Good awareness. Good understanding of the situation. They were late. They grab their second round. Five to two, back towards B we go, straight through Monster. That's yeah, gonna be quick, let's see if Zip can once again get a frag out of this one. Good damage, a dink to Lackey, doesn't stop his run, he could catch him, Zipex hidden. Glaive trades, Config nades, good for a frag. Sound cues are hard, yeah, but Config just sprays on through. Forrest has been great, but he's not ready for this. Pushing through the smoke is Config. More nade damage. Great from Astralis as they are completely washing them out of this round. Victory very short-lived. Unless alien has got some magic bullets in this Deagle. Three left. And he's got zero HP. Picking around for looking like another heavy lean towards the B site early. And three CTs are going fountain pushing. Elian's job is to try and cage this. I don't think he's going to be anticipating so many bodies there. B is great. It's ripe for the plucking. If only they knew. Forrester has really enticed them now. He's taken down Zip. It's just Glaive. Up against the entire Entropic squad. Low, but not low enough. The B side open for business. And Astralis may just want to play their funds. Uh, this is it. Oh, blame around the world catch. again. No, safe and sound. Nickelback lives on. Yeah, and this is it. Like Blame has closed the door. They, they, they won't be able to escape. I think exits would be would be a good option here. Or hang around and see if you if you do get a kill. But realistically, you can see just where Blame's parked, just the speculative shots from Farley through the smoke right there. They're not actually going to tempt fate on this one. I'm just going to hold on to their guns. Blame can drop into the next. Farley should be able to do the same. The lost bonus bottom of the barrel. But B, it uh, is a bit of rinse and repeat. And Astralis, once upon a time, right, they would... Oh, nice shot. Just go for a lot of B plays. Like, turn Monster into an aim map. Uh, and that seems to be what they're doing here with some of these maneuvers. I mean, the, you know, it sounds kind of dismissive to say it this way, but the reason this time it worked was not due to a change in their strategy. It was due to Astralis sending three aggressive to Fountain. They were operating under the assumption it wouldn't be... And again, right? Or you can chop and change the setup. And they are changing the setup. Zipex over towards A this time, and Farley's AWP back towards the B bomb site. And Entropic have now decided to head for a bit more of a standard default. Big nade doesn't do too much damage. Ooh, dismantling immediately on the back of that smoke. So Zip is going to stay tucked in towards the connected position. Blame has to deal with both Party and Long. No smoke. We've seen this before, right? And Farley was patrolling here. And you can see Forrester up on the barrel means that his legs are not going to be in sight for Farley unless he pushes well and truly into the monster tunnel. So this is quite telling, right? If you're reading the play here in Tropic, you'll know, I haven't smoked monster yet, guys. This is, this is a different look. And with that info, you now get a spring in your step towards A. You can take more space. You don't have to worry about the AWPA divider. You don't have to worry about the AWPA long. You can take a couple of extra liberties here. And Farley now has just started to rotate back towards the first letter of the alphabet. They smoke monster. It is just Glaive and Config over towards B here. This Config position could get rumbled if they go connector and a short split. And they're coming back B. Config, you might be in some hot water soon. Heard that nose there. 
distracting them. Oh, but Forrest's legs waits and bides his time. Good to find. Config does try and throw a smoke to contain Crad. He does actually fall off into the headshot. Puts us back into a 4v4. Time is just the main issue here. Farley spotted out toilets. The AWP is on A. It's the right call to hit B. It's just Glaive right now. But 19 seconds, if he can just disrupt as the flames have. Swings on in off the flash. Oh, and builds a round out of it. Glaive looking for his third. He's won the round off the back of that lone defender. Sends in Tropic packing. Good supportive util as well, but that's all Glaive. That flash from Zip, god tier. That right there, as a supportive player, well, not as a supportive, as any player, throwing a flash and then somebody profiting two blind kills off the back of it, that's what you love to see. That is what you'd love to see. Beautiful stuff, and that's another wombo combo flash assist coming in for Astralis. You had Blame, who had it happen long, a couple of plays, and now over towards B, so the utility usage is great. And a little stat line we were looking at before the game was in Tropic throughout the group stage, out of all the teams, we're actually the highest rated in terms of flash assists. So uh, getting a taste of their own medicine right here, Astralis, the OGs, as far as utility goes, showing us how it's done. Yeah, and Zipper's been flashing for Glaive for a few years now. He's familiar with the turf and the moves. And speaking of, Farley's let he one missed. slip. Yeah, it leads to one. It leads to two. Elian with just the AK, but catching Blame. And Forrester, he's anticipating an aggressive CT walkout. He's trying to catch On the fade, adjusts immediately into Zip. One's great. Does keep the advantage in the favor of Entropic. Config's here and hearing this. Oh, Elian, I hope you spotted that. I hope you were ready for that. He wasn't. Config's got him. And now running into B. Glaive is pushed short. They've got so much util. They better have something in preparation for a late short arrival. Smoke sight, Molly, graffiti. They're not ready for sure. That's big. I don't think he was spotted either. He's going to oh, creep no. through. He's, He's just going to walk through. through. Oh. Config will take first contact. Draw eyes away. Hard clear for Config. He not checking check. his corners. Checked his corners. Crad lets him slip. Anticipating short as well. This is so naughty. Crad, you should just you take it. Take it before Config accidentally sees you. The restraint is killing me. Now he knocks the head off. Trying to work it out. Glaive now short. Does manage to neutralize oh. one. It's Nick Kill. Traded out. But now it's just the pistols here. Blame into an M4. Aggressive Molly extinguished. An idea. Blame must know that the push is coming on through. Lots of space taken from Blame. So much info courtesy of Blame, and he's actually got Elium dead to rights. Big find on a solo mission. Everyone else needs to stay alive right now for Astralis. Entropic need to find a kill back, and if Astralis start to linger and push on out and give one back, all of Blame's hard work is done. They don't really know what the buy looks like on the other side just yet. Oh, in this boosted. position from Config, it is perfect. Ooh. The 5-7 strikes. Yeah, that looks way too easy. He's even pre-aiming the boost here. Oh, Astralis. These are the rounds you can pull out in order to really distance yourself from the competition. Can't be getting away with one like this. Yeah, you can't be giving one of these over. I mean, I understand not ready from Elian's perspective, but Blame's taking it. And now Astralis are running with it. So blind. Glaive gets info. They are committing. It is just going to be duels. Blame's here as well to support. Will they check barrels? The answer's no. Caught with a nade in his hand. Blame doing so much work. He has to finish the job as well, and he will. One, not oh. quite the last. Config and now spotted was. towards Connector. <gasps> He's playing. He's checking him. Oh. Config's done it. Astralis throw an absolute hate. Double apiece. It's huge. Absolutely massive. And it only makes the gap even bigger. Oh. Blame nearly got caught out. Thinks he's lost him in the smoke yeah, here. Mis misread that one a little, but no problem. No harm, no foul. Can he get on out of dodge, though? Because Lackey's starting to peer around the top side. Blame's option may actually be better to go out through B. There's another kill. The AWP over towards Monster again. Config grabs another, and this one here is just getting rinsed apart. The bomb is down passive. Elian with a Glock in hand. I, I think what he'd be looking for right now is death. Mm. Some of us have days like that. Comes for all of us. But this is overpass, right? And remember, 15 to 7. I'll keep reminding everybody that the Astralis T side it has had it woes before. I'm sure that with the demo review, they would have discussed about what they could do better going forward. A bit more uh, salt in a game like that, so maybe some emotions getting the better of them. And, and then steps out. Zip will gladly oblige, and they keep all fight. The conversation's been had. The timeout concludes. Let's get into round 14. 
And Blame, he's been catching good timings on these. He's not going to go for it again, I'd imagine. He's actually willing to force a hard clear out of Entropic. This didn't go well for Valley last time. Yeah. Blame's on an island now. He's committed. Ready to rock and roll. No way. He gets two and Illion's missed his shot. A tenth round looms again on the hero play from Blame. He's been kept honest, I guess. One back, they do shut him down. And now you have a minute, 14 seconds to operate with two flashbangs. And this is overpass of all maps. Forrester needs to find something. Information taken, the surf away is smooth. The immovable object of the boulder. Stalling and Tropic out here in round number 14. Things better of that. Helen has not been having too much fun. It is pretty nice when you've got the immovable object of uh, blame and the unstoppable force of config on the same team. They're not yeah. against each other. Their, no, no. their energy's going in the same direction. Yeah, it is just a parallel straight to the head-to-head -head in the quarterfinals. They could be meeting Furia. Oh, I would love that match. It's got entertainment written all over it. Alien trying to get activated late here. That's his sixth kill. <laughs> Bunny Hop's not going to help him. Farley does track beautifully. He's going to get away. Crad's coming. Farley... Tuck to the left, barrel spotted. Tap, tap, tap it in, says Crad, and now Farley can tuck tail. Killing him after time would be the worst for Crad right now. Hi, guys. Five seconds. Quick lavers. Oh, he's going to have to try and find safe haven. Three, two. Oh! <laughs> Holding his horses and living on. I like how he's playing it now. It's a bit more like Rainwood, you know, aggressive and disruptive. It also becomes a linchpin late if they do get past you in one of these little maneuvers. But can they make it five on the way out the door? It could make the world a difference here. Spam back through. Glaive chipped on down. 35 points of health here to operate with the remainder of round number 15. And just on that point, there's a big difference between the 11-4 and the 10-5 for Entropic here, especially with the pistol win in the second half. Yeah, that's good. Could make a world of difference. Boost coming up here. Crad backing off. He might catch the kill here onto Blame. He's ready for it. Hey, yeah, he's seen this one before, but Blame still gets the kill. Yeah, tagged up, but it's Crad that's body bagged up. But if you know it's Blame on B, do you start to now press the issue towards A? Right, he has... More than ample time to rotate back. Farley still resides on the site, and this is more of a turtled up A defense. Config taking space off of that connector kill. He's starting to turn the screws right now. Yeah, and Blame wants info. He's going to use his low HP to try and find a ratty corner and not the flash. Yeah, Forrester's dealt with him, but Farley. Oh, just looked away as the space was taken. So close, he Farley. Answers long. He doesn't so know. Close. He had no idea. The punishment's not there, though. He's given the information and. Oh, shy of the mark on the hip. This is a way in now. The fifth round looms. Config's on the flank and fast. High flash. Nickelback clears CT. It's only Config. Can he come up? Clutch. Zipex from the grave does find one on the Molotov spread. And with 20 seconds, if they can just pick up that bomb, this gets much easier. Nickelback does find it on the edge. Planting now. Elian needs to close this round. 10-5 and a one pistol, and they're right back into it. Playing passive, they're both dropped on down. Kits available for him. Easy first frag, won't anticipate a second there though, and that's Elian. Either way, they've set themselves up on that double digit pedestal right now, and oh, they're coming very fast connected. This is a biff. Oh my god, he's not going to be ready for this. This is so. What oh. the bloody hell was that? Farley, great shooting. Flames managed to open up with a double of his own, and you can see one expert believes Astralis have got this in the bag, and the pistol already indicating as much. One across, needed that clean tap. He hasn't been able to provide it, and now with his information, they're just going to regroup. Blame to take the space late. They have a smoke and a flash. Right now, if they were to group up, like in gun rounds, we, we talk about it where they spread out and they send someone in to find a bit of info. This is the type where you, you kind of would want to group up because if you just trade out efficiently onto Lackey, you're in. And he's about to peer on down Monster with an aggressive maneuver. Spots a lot here, Lackey. A kill would be great. It's not enough. Their opportunities now going awry as he confirms he's getting closed in on and just unable to find the head. Maybe save your Kevlar here, Elian. It might not be worth going for this. I know it sounds crazy, but a one-on-four situation, a B-bomb site retake, no kit. No hope. Spotted now, information relayed, and all the eyes of Astralis turn in his direction. 
dipping and dodging, trying to get out of there. That Kevlar, right, it, it could be worth its weight in gold if he wants to go for a force by in the next with a scout behind it. It happened so quick, Chad, but recapping that fighting connector. Oh, his owner was crazy. There were, there were three CTs from Entropic there. Yeah, so they were going for full-on connector control here, right? They were going to 1-3-1, one, one, uh, trying to control the central point of the map here. So Australis, if they wanted to take territory, couldn't pivot back between the two bomb sites. But unlike Farley's AWP, his Glock just absolutely rocked the head of the first. And then Blame just follows through. He's having a great game. Oh, Alien chased. He's got one. And I think it might just be left at one as he gets hunted to carpet for Astralis to get up to 12. Now, I want to point this out. Blame is having a great game. Yes, he had a great game on Vertigo, though, and it still wasn't enough for them to convert. So let's see if his team are able to get them across the line right here, right now. Spread across the map. Blame and connector. Zip outside B3. Glaive, Farley, and Config dealing with any A aggress. 125 average damage per round from Blame so far. Second highest util damage for his team as well. He's having a good game. And he's showing a bit more diversity in his play, right? He, he's getting stuck in. He looks a bit more unleashed. The fact that he was probably involved in a lot of those opening duels he was winning on the CT side might spur him forward on the T side as well to try and keep up some of that action. He's trying to tuck tail and make sure he isn't spotted in the blind spot. Two towards long. Nickel back on the site. Crowd rotating over, just like he in that sewer position we highlighted before. Here comes the flash. Config safe and solid. Delivers that. That was the gimmick. That was the move. Yeah, they need to scoop up the bomb in T-spawn, but there's 45 seconds left. Glaive is tasked with doing that. Farley covering off any pushes for bathrooms. Config for long. And we'll call this one done and dusted. Now, Furia are waiting in the wings, and I'm sure that they're happy that they've got to see these teams play uh, quite a consistent amount of Counter-Strike here. It was all 30 in the first. It was overtime in the second. And this one here, well, we're not done and dusted yet, but they've shown three maps here today. It's going to help a team like Furia just settle in and, and see what type of form they have, what strategies they're running. Yeah, what's up with Art wanting to play Astralis as well, believing that the Furia boys have something... Uh that can disrupt the Astralis boys, saying if they feel easy. Yeah, that 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 right there, I think that with the way that Entropic play versus Art's aggression, personally, he, he probably has a hard time getting away with some of his maneuvers. Yeah. Whereas there's clear from Astralis, they also enjoy the chaos in some of their games, right? They have a switch. Sometimes it's config go kill and Glaive gets involved in the aggression as well. Sometimes it's a little bit more tempered. Finally, we'll finish things off. America's last and only hope, unless you count twists, but I think he's migrated now. We can call him European soon. He'll fly, he'll fly that Canadian flag, but Molly missed. It's Molly, yeah, and Crad got a lot to do here. You saw how it worked out for Blame. And back turned. Back turned and executed. They're looking lost in Tropic. It's a long old series. Astralis, they've weathered veterans in the longevity. Right now, if you have got the aggressive A prong down, you know that likely Elian with the AWP, you just regroup over towards B and go for a set piece. Forrester and Lackey are the two that they need to rumble. And, and this position from Forrester, extremely susceptible to a nose flash, right? So if you can stand by this little pole over here, you whack a flash through a monster. If he's blind, Lackey needs to swing on out and protect his teammate. No flash, just the yeah, swing. Just drive. Yikes. Just give him the equalizer. That might slow things down. That forces a lot. Well. And of smoke. Coming through. Could be punished. Good. Gets the vision back. Lackey's good for the frag onto config. And now Astralis. Around. Yeah, completely. It's crazy how just that kill back, like that tiny little difference maker, that great position, it's such a nuisance. It's great if you flash, it's terrible if you just walk on in because the CT is going to have the advantage from that elevated position time and time again. 35 seconds left on the clock. Nickelback and Elian locking down A. Lackey and Forrest still reside on B. And they have a smoke, a flash, and a HE to brute force their way in. They need a bigger crowbar, I think. Well, there's the info. Nickelback confirms he's gone to some threat. And he has delivered onto Blame. Just brave. Just ready. Glaive's got one back. Elian could have gone down to the pre-fire. He is susceptible with no armor. Over the top. Glaive exploiting and running down the AWP. It's a plant. Can't be stopped. He fakes it. No time now. Unless they both were to line up, Forrester finds their head. And they will convert and recover. It looked like it was dire straits upon... We retain the AWP for Elian. I'm sure he's going to be happy about getting that back in his, in his mitts. I'm sure Astralis are also going to just start with every CT round posted, recalling how it does feel to lose slews of T rounds on overpass. Yeah, I, I think fortunately that one wasn't a crazy clutch. Yeah. Uh, but if they do lose one of those in the piece here, here's that nose flash I was talking about. Got it. 
get the bogeys out. He decides on an alternative. Forrest is ready for it. And this is just going to be a B hit. So this is a big issue right now for that of Astralis. It'll be like four here. Crad can support short from connector. Yeah, they have a lot of room. So they have to hope that they get a multi-kill early, right? If you're trading one for one, the onslaught of CTs is going to be continuous. And Blackie's trying to do... He's, he's avoiding this nose flash. So here we go. They're picking up the flashbangs and dropping on back. Surely. So this one's being called off, I think, Alex. Yeah, I'm just going to stick around trying to punish if they did. 55 seconds and not a whole lot's happened. Kratzel and Connector, at least Nickelback's now over towards A to help out Elian. So the cut of noise across the map has forced a rotation. Krad getting some info here. But that's it, they've thrown flashes A and, and now they're going back. So this setup is looking much better for them to execute against. There's a positive. Yeah. Maybe the only one we've got right now for a shot in round number 19. Krad's still got nothing to report party. I'm sure he'll be back around in time. As soon as any- Elian's rotating. He's thrown into the equation. Elian is on his way. Util light. Elian does have an incendiary. Could make things awkward short. Here they come swinging through. Lackey on pillar. Forrester down, and now it's up to Lackey. Delivering. Can't make it three. Crad push, though. It's coming. Bali's in. Crad from short to deny the plant, and that ruins the round. They got 10 seconds. Astralis, no way out, but frags. Elian spotted. Tags up Glaive. Take everything away from the Danes here. Blame in retreat, heading back to spawn, and they'll let it happen. But there's the seventh. Yeah, and that... Cr or we go the distance. Every map so far this series has. Yeah, this one feels the same. Just this AK, P250, the flash used, the space taken. They can't. need to crack the head of Crad. Yeah, but also, you know, if you put it on the Entropic Lens, they can't afford to lose someone early and put a weapon into an Astralis hand. Scoop Quick on the up. retrieve. Gets it. They cannot afford to go down to another Astralis funny business eco round. This one rifle from Blame. You knew it was saved. It's been revealed. In this type of a situation, with no utility, your bodies have to become your flashes. So with the Glocks and the P250s, if they can jump and they can make it be against oh, the ore park, Crad has spotted this. He's going to send a nade sailing downtown. But now they can actually start the press. It is only Glocks, but you can't really swing on that. So if they're able to bait out a shot of Elian and scale for space, that is the best option for Astralis in a round like this. Yeah, the boost ain't bad. It will get over Elian's scope. He's close, close line though, and he does catch that. Won't re-extend. But it's good bait. It's actually allowed Glaive to tuck in. Elian, Elian, Elian's worked it out, and now the threat is just blame. But Blame is a big threat on his own. This is a 3v2. Now they both have rifles. This could spiral. Reaction necessary from Nickelback. Bomb being planted. No denial on the ball bank. And now it's ticking against them. Elian does take down Farley. It still remains as Blame. And Blame makes it three. He could find the 13th here. One rifle, one man. He goes around the world. It's he might have the time. Bluff. Yeah, if he's quick on this, he might have time. Just defuse. They don't. Again with the fake. He's going around the world. They don't know it. This could be massive. One tap from Blame. Oh. He's been found. And a sigh of relief rings out for every Entropic player and fan alike. Eight secure, but my distance. Yeah, and the thing is, you know, obviously they want to make some jokes that people at home call him Baydef. This, that he, he's been in the thick of it. Yeah. He's been getting them openings. He's been involved in the fights. He's been shutting areas down. He's not just getting pointless kills. He's getting, these are impact frags on a lot of occasions. And finally, if you don't account for your corners, you're going to go down with a sour face. We can't afford to go down like this. Crad's got company. Crad's got company and some support. One and a half. Still blame F keeps Astralis in it. But Nickelback's position means they know it's not A. The biggest issue is the timer of up connector and past Nickelback, but he's going to be a sleeper agent. Lackey close monster again. They can retain three players locking down this B site. Lackey's still trying his luck. Trying to play anti. There's no flash coming. Forrester can re-smoke. Monster is a no-go zone for another 20 seconds. And if they just walk up short, it's into Elian's AWP. He can't let slip. And doesn't. Blame gone. Bomb down and bodies dropping. Left and right. Elian sends them home. A big shutdown. Four hearts still beaten and Farley forced to save. Another round scratched next to the Entropic name.
Oh, I don't know if Farley is going to get away with this. Nickelback is starting to have a look. If Farley doesn't get around the corner, he's going to get... Oh, I was going to say shot in the back. The scope. Was it her? Did Nickelback put himself close enough? Look at the party. They're starting to come he's on going over. Around, he's going around for the ladder flank, and they're all going to be able to punish this orb. They can flash through the window and then just swing. I think that's what they're lining up now. Lackey's lining up the flash. Here it comes. It's going to be brutal. Look at this. An orb peeks you. An M4 comes down the ladder. After time. They're going to get him oh, after time. Zero dollars, Chad. Zero dollars. Oh, and Farley's lost it. Absolute night. Farley feeling the brunt of that pain. And conflict has gone down early. Just remember the first gun round where Crad went aggressive and died with Glaive shooting him in the back. A great opportunity, a great 5v4, and that one just slipped through their fingers. And now they're in the hole. Four consecutive rounds, likely to be five. You think about Farley's buy into the next, it's going to be nothing. He's going to get a loss bonus of 3,400, so he can have the Galil at best. Unless somebody's feeling very generous and wants to drop him the orb, maybe Glaive is. He's saved 3k. So there you go, problem solved. Elian's tucked in close. Crad with the low HP is called upon to be the AWPer. Makes sense, especially against those pistols. Play the rolls. Play the advantage. Elian needs this, provides it. And off the flash, they have taken space. Good catch. Zipex and Blame getting some frags in. Now weapons as well. Opportunity presents itself. Elian not able to finish off Blame F. The bomb's coming. They know he's there. Oh, this is weird. They can drop on back. There's time to fall back. You don't have to commit to this. Glaive smoke implies he will. You got the gun. They can fall straight back now and play together in the two-on-two -two situation. Glaive wants to go back. The birds are singing, and Astralis would be too if they can find this one. That Farley loss. Oh, and Glaive spotted. That was the bomb as well. Lackey's on his way, and Blame just doesn't have the health for this, but he has got the skill. This is the thing. He needs to get the bomb and plant. Oh, maybe the AWP save. That could be nice. He's going to need to drop in the next round. As long as he doesn't go down, shot taken, backing off. Needs to get on out of there, and he should. Couldn't have another aftertime death. That would be absolutely brutal here, and he will be able to hold on to the big green. Farley starting to haunt them now. No CT aggressions, or at least not past the normality. Crad very stubborn in his connector position, and it's Blame F that's on his way as well. He's been... Oh, that smoke, it does signify presence, and that orb is perfect for that. Farley sets his team up for a nice success, an opening kill. Now, this is the thing. We've seen it before with Crad going down. He's like, he's going to push. He's in the smoke, hoping to play in the fade right here. Zip aware of these mind games that get played. Nickelback is that rotation point back towards A for one more time. Blame still parked in connector. They can isolate a 3v2 fight on the A site. Everything now hangs in the balance for these CTs in Tropic. It's been a run of five. You have to convert this one. This has to be Astralis's response. Round two of this half, the last time Astralis tasted victory. And Farley has presented them with the opportunity to buck that trend. Two smokes right now. One for Glaive, one for Zip. Nickelback is playing close towards the sign. Alien to try and lure them in. Flash to delay, 30 seconds. Now the ghost signal has to come in momentarily here. Trying to find an early advantage before they commit. Alien. Smokes, mollies, flashes, blame on his way. Nickelback needs to be ready and is, delivers. He's gonna be swung on. Desperate for Elian to provide some sort of assistance. He gets one, needed another. Eight seconds. Bomb needs to get picked up. Where is it? Getting planted, going down now on the truck. Just in time. Bomb has been planted. 3v1 and Lackey's accepted defeat. Oh, that bomb in the loose yeah, right there. You man. think about it, there's a molly down there. There could have been so much mayhem. Farley, very diligent on the pickup. The AWP are having to get the bomb down. And they make the 4v5 conversion work. That's Crad who slipped up twice now in gun rounds. But once his team powered him out, this time around, he just gets pipped at the post. And they really want him in connector. It's quite clear that having him in connector is part of this game plan. Lackey to save. Now look at the finances over here. Forrester with 4.8. The loss bonus is only going to be 1,400. Uh. So this is where a timeout, maybe the last timeout of Entropic would come through. Because you don't want the team to make a bad fiscal call here.
It's a great chance for Hooch to kind of set the record straight. A zip goes down. It's a Famous and an MP9. Changed it up. After their team tour, Crown is off to B as well. And Hellion is going to have a gaping chasm to overcome in that toilet's absence. They're going for the boost, and no one's going to be there. Bit of a gimmick getting pulled out here, and Elian's found the Ooh. pick on long, so this will stall out any A aggress. They're starting to rotate crowd back right now, and that one's not going to taste very nice at all for Astralis here. Yeah. They have no room on the map. One right back and zero info. Can Entropic convert their 4v5? Light on nades. Resources are at a premium. And this absence of map control just means they're going to have to send blame in. He has to walk past an orb. And even if he gets the orb kill, Prad swings. They progress up long, and no orb rings off. Building a mental picture. Endian flashed off. Krat should have him every day of the week. Blame. Blame is not looking his way, and Krad gets himself a freebie. AK upgrade. Progression. They're into the site, though. Missed shot on the AWP. Elian under scrutiny. Krad saves him. It's just Farley, though, and he has got himself the frag. The bomb is loose, and this one's done. Ooh, the gap getting very tight now, Chad. Out of options. Well, maybe not out of options, but out of solutions, right? So giving up an opening kill right there, it was Entropic who were going for something a little bit gimmicky to find some information early over towards B, and Elian just gets given a bit of a freebie on that long peak. Zip is going to save, but they're playing a dangerous game. 2,900 into the bank balance. Enough for blame to buy. Farley should be the same. Config and Glaive are going to be light on here. Score now reads 13 to 11 as time transpires, and there's been a lot of those within this second half of play. That wombo combo setup, the bait and switch, and blame, he, he tries to take the space. You want to take the space against an orb once they take the shot, but lured straight into that. Missed Molly, space to be taken. It's Entropic that once again has agreed to dispatch Crad towards that underpass. It has been exploited at times. This time no Farley, though, and they are back to long. It seems like they want to do the same round again, or at least what they intended to do without... Stomaching and opening Elian Frag. Elian's actually posted up on a different angle right now, which would have been on a bit of a timer for a smoke. He just dipped back, right? He was actually patrolling upper bathrooms from just behind the smoke. It's landed, so that's forced him to reposition here. Have four players here early, and Zip isn't watching the backyard of B either. So this is very telling that they want to just kind of get the jump on A. Speaking of jump, that's going to be where Elian gets his information from. Didn't catch a glimpse of that boost. Farley is up there, and so is Glaive. So with an orb shot fired, they might start to accelerate into their blind spot. Still nothing on his jump. He's not calling for aid. He's in the starts now. Oh, he needs one. He's so blind. Oh, and he's dead. Config's into the site with a big entry. Crad needed that onto Zip. What a buffer now. Yeah, especially if Blame oh. does go down. Crad, huge impact. The bomb planted. They're locked in. Exactly. And they're going to flash through that. That is naughty. They're going to be staring right at it. Glaive, not flash, not bothered. His teammate is in the smoke as well. The call was made. Damage is done. Farley falls. It's Lackey with the double. And Config, oh, they're staring right at him. They're staring right at him, trying to rascal the smoke. Nickelback far too wise. And that is a three-man retake successful for Entropic Astralis. Though there's another, there's another, and he does find him through. I don't think they can go B. Astralis haven't shown that they're able to finish B. It's been all about A. It's been all about trying to see if Elian will crumble. And sure, he goes down there, but his teammates, they back him up. This is different. Glaive straight through the underpass. And no crad to report. He's actually over on long. Well, this is the time where they are setting their sights on the second letter of the alphabet. And Lackey here has been playing behind this monster smoke time and time again. And the one time they tried to creep back B, it was the drained position, the great at the back there that caught them off guard. You really have to have some cojones to believe in a position like this staring at the floorboards waiting for the sound cue and for that flashbang even not getting spammed like it's yeah. really on meta right now for cts to creep into that smoke so dicing with death and they actually pivot on back lackey to the pillar forester and nickelback in a bit more of a retake setup now on the side they're not fully committed to locking down monster this can go wrong flash lackey's safe on the pillar side config in contact here comes the util he'll swing with it Everyone Forrester does manage to take him down. Numbers game. Advantage and Tropic and damage dealt. Not finished it off. Farley low. Nickelback has to send him lower. Crad very restrained on his rotate through. 
30 seconds now. Elian does have the Overwatch from Heaven. Tail. And where are they going? You gotta get through Crad. <gasps> Ooh, Crad has got to live, got to live now. And he's pre-aiming it. Glaive knows he's there. 20 Confirmed seconds. There. Crad, very greedy. They're coming for him. Survival gets one through the wall. It's really low on time. 15 they have seconds. To go B. Where are they going? They have to go B. And look at Nickelback. He should have them dead to rights. Should. Should. Being the operative word and does. That's 13. We tie it all up. Unlucky for some. Lead. But if anyone's going to change that tune, it's the madman, the berserker config. Yeah, he's got absolutely no util. He'll take blood instead through the flames, the spray, and Lucky immediately repels. Shut down. Yeah, Crad this time doesn't quite finish the round, but there's nothing more to celebrate for Astralis. This would be such a difficult round to be able to win in a three on four situation. Oh, man. I mean, yeah, the boosting as well. Zip is dead. Should be dead. Should have been dead, yeah. A bit of a wobbly there. Well, they're going back towards long, and guess who's posted up? Extraterrestrial. Holding the terrain. They're going to boost up and over his line of sight again, so they've definitely studied that. <gasps> oh, well, you're spotted, and you should be dead. Elian doesn't risk the repeat. A lot of indecision. Like, Astralis can't go forward, they can't go back. They just go into the AWP, and a round that oh, had a lot of mustard on it as far as the B rush goes. Isn't going anywhere. At least they've kept tugging and Tropic across the map. And here's this drain position again. Should get the spot of the toes. Tickles him on up. And Zip is the one who gets punished by that yet again. Glaive with the M4 in hand. It's more than the M4 to get this one done, I think. The first on the forest is tidy. Lackey been the pillar of defense on this B bomb site. A balance between the repeaks and knowing he has an advantage of the weaponry. Don't want to let that gap close. And talking of gaps closed, the lead for Entropic has been secured. 14 now as they control the pace. It's up against the rifles. Five AKs and could be Zipex that takes Forrester's aggression personally. Yeah, a bit more initiative out of Zipex here. He's been extremely passive babysitting this B side of the map here. So by getting this opener, it's going to just leave Lackey on an island. A heavy rotate back towards A. So this has to be a gamble call from Nickelback, the in-game leader. Let's stack the site. Let's hope that they come into our domain. And they've been able to get one back. Yeah, didn't confirm long presence. Config was flashed. His monster he smoked. It's crowd the next objective. Farley's ready for it. Looks away. Config and Crad. And oh, Crad's got another. High impact, blame equalizes. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of speed. Elian, no vision, no vision, no health. He's open. Nickelback's Wide open. the only one here. They should plant here. Nickelback straight up confirms it's way too much for him to handle on his own. Needs Lackey. Swings through. Farley good for the headshot. Astralis breaking their silence. And a 1v3 for Lackey. Uninterested. 300 bucks in his back pocket. Rifle would be welcome. Yeah, keep that one. Hold on to that for sure. Nickelback can buy early and the same forest is going to be pretty damn close. So important for Lucky to hold on to this. And the fact that this kid, after you lost Forrester on B to Zip, swings back Monster and kills Zipax, right? That is wild. Like, he is not afraid of anything here. So did his best to level the playing field. But good trading out from Astralis and a good understanding of the situation. You could see Elian just caught in no man's land, completely blind, run on down in this game, tied up again, 14-14. And an AWP retained for Farley now. Yeah, you couldn't help but uh, feel the same flustered feeling that Elian would be feeling as that flash pops. Do you account for Zip to get an opening kill towards Big? See if they can find more impact into a must-win round. Astralis chasing their tails a little on the T side. Elian fires off a warning shot, not going to be punished. It's just config through playground, containing any long info place. That's a lot of information. If, if you weren't sure if there was going to be an AWP, you know immediately, straight out the gate. You, you know that you're working against a default round, so you need to operate with the AWP in the back of your mind for the remainder of the minute 30. And a consecutive round here for Astralis with a 1,900 loss bonus into the back pocket of Entropic in the next will break them. It will absolutely break them. This round means everything for the Danes if they want to close here in regulation. They're testing long again, are they really? Alien's there. Need to wait for the flash here, Glaive. Oh, Rigor, it doesn't seem far off, but they get away. Storm weathered. Concerned about Banana, still doesn't want to abandon Crad on this island. And oh my god, he peeks out. Ah, and he loses his life, Farley. Long range support, they've got another opening. Yeah, and another Crad opening death given up to Farley's AWP here. That's happened twice throughout this. Last time they did convert, 
they can do it again. 40 seconds remaining, so time is probably the biggest issue for Astralis right now is Lackey, the hero of the B bomb side, the only man posted to defend against the Fiverr bearing down on his position. They've got Util, they flash on out. They must know this is coming. Team flash and oh. a conversion. That's a problem. That's a big problem, Glaive. Full white screen, courtesy of Zipex and Lackey alone has the coming. cavalry and a bit of damage. It may not be enough. They're into water. Oh, oh he threw the smoke. Nickelback dead on progress. 2v4. Forest is still there though. 20 HP, they'll hunt him Ten down. Seconds, you got a plant, boys. They do have to stop the plant. That's all they have to do. They can wallbang it. Oh my God, he tagged him. He doesn't know. He nearly won the round on the bang alone, but Forrester alone and that's 15. Feels good. As config was, is because he knows this one is on a silver platter now. A silver platter. All the trimmings, all the fixings. Is it gimmicks? From the CTs, do they have anything left to catch this Astralis attack off guard? It's Crad in his usual hidey hole. Door blown off. Supportive flashes are available. Nickelback's been known to throw one or two. And they just try to jump spot for some info here. He knows that he needs to allow a buffer for Crad to operate in connector. Divide out smoke. Well, Molly, it's bathroom smoke. Crad now. Can he find anything here with this Deagle lying in wait? Needs a kill, needs something. Flash to He's enable. Flashed, but they're coming for him. Spotted, struggling. Multiple targets and already three congregating in his position. First to fall again for Crad. Such a volatile positioning connector right here and he's given up the death. 26 and this is the final round of regulation. Four francs is all that separates Astralis from the quarterfinal. It might have to be a gamble here from the Tropic. You're going to have to pick a site. You're not going to do it with pistols and scouts if you're scattered, but at the moment they are. Nickelback's pushing. 30 seconds, maybe the clock could become a villain here if they could just find something. The tag's not much. You've got to go. They're coming. Nickelback doesn't find the head of blame. Looking good for Astralis. Three frags is all they need. A hard-fought series. Can't begin. They've got time to plan. A horrible retake with no kit. Astralis. They do get through across into the site. A nice tag through the smoke, but it's all nothing to be celebrated. The CT's all from one direction. Alien's gone. Just like Zane and the pain, it continues.